Hey guys, Makeup Side here and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be a like review slash unboxing if you want to say. Um, yeah, but before we hop into that video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and comment on this video and let go. So, what I have here in my hand is the Ipsy packaging. Now on this side, of course, is my mailing address and I don't want you guys to be stalking the head. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side. So I hold in my hand the glam bag. Um, this doesn't have like a texture cause it looks like lace, but it's just like plain smooth. Um, and every month they give you five items based off your profile, based off the things that, that you said that you liked. Um, and they just mail them to you. So I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. It also comes with these little cards all the time, like these little inspirational cards. And on the back, it's just like, you know, more inspirational stuff. And on the front, it says, in my defense, the moon was full and I was left unsupervised. Cute, right? And the other side, it's like spellbound and I'm not about to read all of it, so let's just keep going. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start by telling you guys about the brush now this was like the first thing that like really gravitated to me because like I am obsessed with eyeshadow brushes as you guys can see I have this big thing of brushes like I know seriously like I'm just so used to seeing people with like big brushes not the small brushes but whatever so yeah I'm just gonna basically talk about this brush first and then the rest of the product so okay so the brush the brush is by furless um, and it's like, um, I want to say it's a taper brush because it reminds me so much of this Ruby Kiss uh, taper brush just because of the hairs on it. But when I went to blend in my uh, eyeshadow today, it gave me like a flat, like it flattened as you can see. Like, I don't really know like what, you know, what was that all about, but it didn't really pick up enough product for me, but I feel like this could be like. I don't know maybe like at the end when you want to just blend everything together maybe that'll work but like far as like picking up products I wouldn't necessarily use this one for that unlike the Ruby Kiss taper brush like you could pick up product and it'll hold and you could be able to blend into the creases and also blending the eyeshadow out but this one no so I don't know I'll give this like a two out of five okay next in the bag we have JM solution uh Oh. Water Illuminous Jelly Cleanser. Now, last month's subscription, I received this one by Neogen. It's the same thing. It's like, it's basically cleansing water. So like once you basically wipe off the makeup, you can use this to cleanse it and then you exfoliate and then you wash. So um, yeah, I used all of this. This was good. Like I want to buy this and I believe it retailed for like don't quote me, but I believe it was like $26. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the first thing I noticed that when I opened the packaging and I was to put it on the back of my hand is that it's like really jelly, like seriously, it's like silicone. And it's real like slimy like that. I didn't like that. I don't know. It just reminds me of snot, like. That's nasty. Be sure to use this tonight just to see, you know, how it works. But on the back, it reads, a gentle jelly type foam cleanser that deeps cleanse and moisturizes skin. And they said like you basically use a dime size amount and you know like basically massage it over damp skin. Of course you're supposed to you know have damp skin but I'll just give this a try and then I'll let you guys know later on how it worked for me. So let's move on. Next I have here the It Bye Bye Pore Press. Now it's so cute how they have this like little little um <laughs> foam little thing in here like that was like really cute to me and then like they had like the little powder up in here it's like a pressed powder now I don't know I didn't use it today because I'm so used to using my routine but I will be sure to do like a review on this as well because when I went to go and like take like the plastic off of here because at first this little thing like that's kind of hard for me and I feel like I'll mess it up I already did like kind of like you know messed it up right here at the bottom as you can see trying to get the little pad thingy off and that kind of like blew me because I wanted I like clean surfaces I have OCD seriously 
So like when I seen that I had messed it up, I was like, ugh, kind of ruined it. But whatever, I'll still be trying this soon. Um, yeah, it's basically like a finishing powder, so I'm gonna try to try to use it for that. So yeah, it's bye bye press powder. Let's move along. So next I have here the M and M Meech and Mia shadow, and this is in the shade beige, but it's giving me like really peachy vibes, you know. Oh. This is the other thing I hate about this. Like, seriously, y'all? Like, why? Oh, my nails. Oh, my God. Let me see if I can, like, focus in. That, oh, my God. Like, why is it powder everywhere? Like, that should not be. I understand that this is, like, loose shadow, but I don't want to have to open up a package and, like, powder just flies everywhere. Like, no. Um, But, I mean, hello. Like, look at that. <laughs> I'm like golden. Say this is gorgeous. Like I know that I'm showing like my thumb, but it failed on here, so I'm like, whatever. Might as well do the swatch here. It's kind of weird too, but um, I kind of like it. I'm gonna try this one day. I don't really know like what look I would do with this, but I will definitely find one and it will be popping. Okay, next I have here the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. Now when I say this thing glided onto my hand, like literally, like so smoothly, no fuss, no hassle, just the littlest dot, like how? I'm barely touching this, like I'm barely putting this on here and this thing, and it's like, a pencil like the softest pencil ever ipsy is basically like a monthly subscription where you pay ten dollars a month and you receive free samples well like five free samples of products that's like you know pretty much paired with your profile um mind you you can change your profile at, at any given moment like you don't have to say like well i don't like these products anymore you can go in change it from tart you don't like tart anymore so you want to change it from this to that um every month it's something different like it's never the same product it's never the same glam bag um you don't get the same stuff that this person got like just in case like this person have a glam bag she may have one item out of the whole bag that you may have um just know that every single month you will receive something different so that's like the perks about it like you know that you're gonna get something good like good like high-end products not just like always like you know uh, drugstore products there's nothing wrong with drug stuff Dor drug hello <laughs> drugstore products but you receive like really good products like you know this product here like i will like express it to everyone like this was bomb i would just hate it i you know use it all but just know that every single month it's like some bomb products just know even though you don't may not like that product you could still like say like hey it's free you feel me like Hello, who don't like free? <laughs> yeah, that is all for today, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this glam bag or Ipsy in general that I may not cover in this video, please don't be afraid to comment that below. Feel free to subscribe while you're here. Like this video, and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thank you again for watching. Bye.